Well, it's a good thing today is shaping up to be a nice one. Maybe a day to put your top back and ride down with the windows open. Happening today in Guilford, the 23rd annual Guilford Corvette Show is kicking off bright and early. And not only are there amazing cars, but the event is a fundraiser for something special. And joining us live this morning, former president of Club Corvette Connecticut, George McCary, tells us what's going on today. Good morning, George. How are you? Good morning. How are you? Oh, Thanks, I'm Channel great. Channel 8, for supporting us. Oh, well, it's great to have you here. Thank you so much for being here this morning. First off, tell me about all the Corvettes that are going to be out there today. Uh, well, this is our 23rd annual Corvette show. Uh, we'll, it, we're expecting on average about 200 Corvettes will be entered in the show for judging. Uh, we'll have about another 100 Corvettes here from our club on display. And the whole purpose of the uh, show is to raise money for the Connecticut Food Bank. have some talented judges out there, one of which is Gil Simmons. Um, what are you judging based on? What's important when you're judging these Corvettes? Well, our judging is uh, broken down into basically three categories. We have uh, what we call the street category, uh, where we just look at the exterior of the car, a super street where we look at the exterior and the interior of the car, and a show category where we look at everything, interior, exterior, under the hood, under the chassis, and the whole uh, uh, purpose is fun. The participants come to have fun. There's trophy awards and bragging rights. Um, so it's a great, uh, it's a great uh, outing that we do every year. All right. Well, it looks like so much fun out there. You could not get better weather, George. You know, we're going to talk to you a little bit later in the show about the Connecticut Food Bank, how all of this helps people across the state. We'll talk about that a little bit later in the show. Thank you so much, George. We'll talk to you later.